Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lionel catalog that just came out. This is the 2021 catalog, the Volume 2 catalog, and it just came out, and we're going to be going through it, and I'm going to be talking about my pre-orders. I've never pre-ordered anything from a Lionel catalog, and this is the first time that I will be doing that which is really cool and the reason why I'm pre-ordering something is because there are some amazing items in this catalog so let's go take a look at what we got starting out we just have the the normal opening pages with the table of contents and them advertising the Bluetooth app and now we come to O scale and as you can see this right here is what we'll be going to we're going to start with our legacy steam engines. I always love this page because you can see all the electronics on the inside of the engines. So to start out we have the 210 decapods. These are brand new toolings from Lionel. Uh, these are not from MTH. These are all brand new. Lionel did a video on them uh, talking about how they are brand new brass hybrids with die cast chassis and uh, brass shells. And they worked with Strasbourg for two years to develop uh, these models. They used the blueprints and pictures and measurements of the real Strasbourg number 90 to make these models possible, which is just awesome. Uh, so we're going to go down the list of them here and check them out. And this is really the big item in the catalog. Everyone has been wanting a Strasbourg 90, a Strasbourg 475, and a Strasbourg number 89 forever. And Lionel has delivered on one of those, this being Strasbourg number 90. Uh, and 90 is kind of like the Strasbourg engine. It is the one everyone thinks of uh, when, sh when they think of Strasbourg. Um, so starting out at the top here, we have... Whoops. Let me click on this page better. I guess it won't let me do that. Okay. Um, starting out on the uh, top here, we have the Great Western number 90. Uh, if you don't know, the... Strasbourg number 90 was not a Strasbourg engine originally. It was from the Great Western Railroad. And uh, up top here, I believe we have the as delivered scheme uh, for the Great Western. So it has the small Great Western lettering here and 90 on the cab. Uh, moving down, we have the first Strasbourg 90, that being the 90s Strasbourg uh, number 90. And this is the one that I have pre ordered. This one has the red roof, the red top on the uh, tender, and then the gold uh, striping and the gold lettering, which I think is just very interesting looking. And it's a little bit different from what uh, 90 looks like nowadays, which is this right here. This is the 2000 paint scheme or the present paint scheme of 90. It's the silver lettering and a very simple black paint job. Moving down, they have another 90, which is a 1967 or 2020 charter uh, photo shoot uh, paint scheme with the, uh, the egg-shaped logo, the gold striping, and 90 on the cab here. Uh, moving over here, we have the Great, uh, Great Western number 90, which is from the 2000s. I believe this was for a photo charter as well. Uh, moving down, we have a Seaboard Airline, uh, number 525. This is not a 90. This is just a decapod that is painted in a uh, Seaboard Airline paint scheme. And then moving down, we have a Osage Railway, number 10. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but uh, if I didn't, you can tell me in the comments. That's a, a railroad I've never heard of before. Uh, but again, a beautiful-looking model with these... Uh, uh, gold uh, spokes on the wheels and then it also looks like we have a un, uh, unpainted and uh, clear coated version which is a pilot model of the decapod here which is also really cool uh, but yeah I ordered Strasbourg number 90 in, uh, in the 90s uh, paint scheme I'll, I'll zoom in here it won't let me zoom in on the front because of the way the pages are but um, this is what the tender looks like and the cab looks like sorry if there's this kind of odd uh, kind of fuzziness I'm noticing that everything on the catalog is uh, nice and clear but the uh, the renderings of these engines are a little fuzzy so sorry for that but yeah this is the one I ordered and I can uh, go to the other side and zoom in over here so here's the front end uh, it's kind of it kind of sucks that the catalog page is like this but yeah this is the one that I've ordered and uh, it's gonna be awesome 
just going with some of the features on these engines they have bluetooth legacy fan driven uh, stack and whistle steam legacy rail sounds road number specific crew talk or road specific crew talk which is awesome uh, this is almost like a vision line engine uh, vision line engines nowadays are the only ones that have road specific crew talk uh, but to see them put in uh, to these engines will be awesome because it's a Strasburg engine. You want Strasburg crew talk. You don't want it to just be uh, the generic crew talk, which that's going to be very cool. I'll zoom in down here. We also have, if it'll load, maybe. Okay, <laughs> right when I zoom out, it unloads. So give me one second and this will probably load. I guess not. So uh, going down the line, we also have the LED lighting, the bicolor uh, class and marker lights. Uh, the length of the engine is 19 uh, inches long. Uh, that's the uh, front of the loco to the rear of the tender. And then it's a minimum curve of 054. And then they also have the five different uh, bell and whistle pitches. This being, being that I bought 90, there's only two whistles. I believe 90 is really worn. It's the... Uh, the the kind of high-pitched uh, werewolf, I think is what they call it, uh, whistle. It's very, it's kind of haunting, but it's also just awesome to hear. And then I believe it wore a hooter whistle at one point. Uh, but yeah, they, they still will give you the five uh, quillable whistles and the five different bell pitches. Uh, but these are awesome. I'm so glad that Lionel has made these. And I can't, uh, can't wait to see these come in. Obviously, they're a year away from... Uh, from being delivered it's not going to be till the second quarter of 2022 but it's still awesome to see them making these and you guys are probably wondering what's the price the price is $18.99.99 uh, you might think holy cow that is a lot of money why is Lionel overcharging for such a small engine first off it is brand new tooling uh, nothing about this engine is something Lionel has they had to build this from scratch Lionel hasn't built a model completely from scratch in a long while the some of the brass hybrids had new tooling but these are completely new tooling uh, the chassis the the tender shell the engine shell the tender chassis all these things are brand new and that costs a lot of money to do and they must put that um, into the pricing which is why it's an expensive model it's also expensive because it has all these features that cost a lot of money and brass models because these are brass hybrids makes it expensive brass models are not cheap if you look at what a third rail model costs they are not cheap by any means and because of that these are going to be expensive models but it is so worth it because this is a just an amazing model and it's a one in a lifetime kind of deal it is unlikely that Lionel will remake these and if they do remake them probably not in the Strasburg scheme because they want to put them out in the market but then not overproduce and flood the market they want them to be a collector's item and something that is um, special to their brand uh, but that's enough of me talking about these if you guys want to check them out go to the catalog I will have the link in the description uh, moving to the next page, we have the Wood uh, wood Coach 2-packs and the Observation Cars for Strasburg. I bought uh, two of the 2-packs, or I pre-ordered rather, two of the 2-packs uh, in the 90s uh, paint scheme. And then I ordered the Paradise uh, Strasburg car, the Observation car down here. And that's what I have so far. I might add the Combine uh, Coach 2-pack, uh, but we'll see about that. Uh, but so far, this is what I've ordered, and these are uh, very cool-looking cars. And if you don't know, uh, these wood-sided cars are former MTH toolings. Lionel bought the tooling to these cars and are now making them because they want to make the Strasburg coaches. Moving on, we have a very affordable engine, the 280 Consolidation. Uh, Lionel hasn't done these in a while, and it's uh, great to see them back in the, the line and in the catalog. Uh, some people have talked about how come Lionel couldn't make the the decapods as cheap as these. These are $749.99, and they're just about the same size. Uh, the real reason why these are so inexpensive is because 
they are die cast and because it's an old tooling Lionel has had this uh, consolidation tooling for a long time now uh, since the early 2000s so they don't have to do much they just repaint them add some new electronics and they're done they don't have to really do much so sure if Lionel would have made the brass uh, the decapod not a brass hybrid and possibly all die cast it could have been a little cheaper but the brass hybrid allows them to do a lot more detailing and more specific um, modeling instead of just a more general model like these. These are a general consoli consolidation based on some prototype and then they just repaint them. Uh, but these do look really nice. The Santa Fe one up here looks really nice. I like the way that looks. Uh, we also have a Chesapeake and Ohio one, a New York Central one, a Buffalo Creek and Golly. Number four here, a main, uh, main Central, and then a Western Pacific. Uh, these all look amazing. I do notice there isn't any uh, uh, super colorful ones, but it's kind of a workhorse. They, they do a lot of work. They don't need, be, need to be colorful or anything. They just get the job done, which is kind of cool as a model. And, and of course, they are an inexpensive, relatively speaking, model for people. If you pre-order them, you can probably get them down to closer to... Um, the $600 mark instead of the $750 mark that the MSRP is. Moving on, we have the AC12 cab forwards. Uh, these are really cool models. However, they're not really my thing, and they are also very expensive. Uh, $1999.99, and even with pre-order uh, pre pricing, that's still a super expensive model. Uh, but it is good to see them back in the line, and people are definitely going to order them, uh, even with that pricing. We have a daylight scheme, a couple black Southern Pacifics, including one with no lettering on the tender, a Southern Pacific in a kind of gray boiler scheme, and then the Lark paint scheme. Uh, these all look really good to me, and it'll be interesting to see them come in and how they function and how they really look uh, in these fantasy schemes, and of course, the more accurate black schemes. Moving on, this is a return of a, a very popular item that Lionel has made in the past. This is the Union Pacific 412 2. Uh, these are awesome engines. They are very long. 412 2 is a very big uh, wheel arrangement for a, a standard uh, steam engine that doesn't articulate. And I'm really looking forward, forward to seeing how these turn out. On this page, we have uh, the Union Pacific 9000, and then a couple other numbers, and then this Greyhound paint scheme at the bottom. These all look fantastic, and uh, it's really cool that these uh, models have the uh, third uh, cylinder uh, valve gear in the front here that operates as the engine is running, uh, which is really cool to see in a model. And uh, these will definitely be, uh, I say popular items because they haven't made them in a while and they're fairly affordable $16.99.99 uh, pre-order obviously or no not pre-order that's MSRP with a pre-order you could get it lower um, and something about the pricing of Lionel products people complain on it over and over about the pricing I have as well but I've kind of stopped doing it as much because why complain if you're not going to buy it just don't complain. If you really like the item, you will find a way to pay for it or find a way to get it in the future. Lionel has to make a profit. They have to pay for things. It's just all about the economics. They, they have to find a way to make money. And sometimes the way to make money is just to put a higher price tag so they can pay for things. Sometimes things are ridiculously expensive. And if they are like that, you just don't buy them because you can't afford it or it's just too crazy. The more you complain, the more you're going to just get annoyed. The whole point of this hobby is to have fun and enjoy the model. So if, if something's too expensive, just kind of leave it be and don't complain. Because I just find the complaining silly sometimes because... we all These models are really nice, even if it's expensive. And all it really comes down to is how much you really want the model. If you want something, you will pay for it. If you don't want it that much, then you just don't. And something I've done for years is I just wait for the prices on items to drop over time. If I can't afford it when it comes out, 
I just wait a couple of years and then buy it later down the road. But if you want it immediately, you will just pay the price that is in the catalog, of course. And then here are some more paint schemes for the 412-2s. These are all fantasy schemes, I believe. Uh, some very interesting ones like this Milwaukee Road and Denver and Rio Grande Western. Uh, definitely interesting looking models, to say the least. Uh, not, not something that I would buy, but some people will definitely buy these because people love models with uh, their favorite road names on them. Uh, moving on to diesels. We have the SD70 Max. Uh, I don't think Lionel's made these in a while. And something uh, cool to see is they've added a, uh, a super bass unit. It's a, a dummy engine, I believe, and it will have the super bass sounds in it, which is really cool to see. Also, I noticed they have uh, what I believe is the Vomit Bonnet <laughs> paint scheme. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's what this is, but if I'm wrong, uh, tell me in the comment section below. I'm no expert on uh, modern diesels by any means, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is down here. We have the SD45s, uh, not really my thing, but we have a bunch of different road names, and they of course have the Super Bass uh, unit as well. Uh, I kind of like the way this uh, Pennsylvania Rara one looks, uh, very uh, simple and I love the uh, the Brunswick green color. We have the DD35s. Lionel hasn't done these in a while, and it's great to see them back. Uh, mainly Union Pacific paint schemes, but we also have an Alaska and a Santa Fe paint scheme. We have the SW1200s. Uh, uh, these are nice models. Uh, I've, I've messed with an NW2 before, and I believe a couple other Lionel uh, switchers and they, they're always really nice and uh, definitely a, uh, a nice little switcher for a yard if you have one in your layout and they're at a good price uh, $549.99 and with pre-order uh, you'll get that even lower. I really like the way this Penn Central one looks. I like the way that logo is right there. Moving on we have the C-liners. I believe these are MTH toolings. I could be wrong. I've I'm not. I haven't totally followed uh, what is and what isn't uh, the MTH toolings, but I've been reading some stuff, and I'm pretty sure these are MTH toolings. And uh, they have a bunch of different uh, road names here. We have Long Island, New York Central, Canadian National, Pensy, and then Fairbanks Moors. And then we have some Long Island passenger cars, which is really cool. And these seem to be uh, all uh, MTA officially licensed, which is really cool to see. We have another uh, C-Liner in the New Haven and some passenger cars as well. Now we move on to some of the higher end sets. This is a BNSF coal train and it looks, it's an amazing deal, $899.99 for the SD, uh, the SD70 Mac and the uh, six coal cars, which is awesome to see. That's an amazing deal because I, uh, if I recall correctly, the SD70 Mac is, uh, a couple hundred dollars underneath uh, this price and then for another hundred or two hundred dollars you get uh, six coal cars which is just awesome for a set and then they also have an add-on uh, four pack here here we have a Burlington Northern uh, hustle muscle freight set with a uh, a Burlington Northern diesel at the front and a flat car with a fire truck and then a couple other freight cars and a caboose uh, and again, looks like a pretty good deal, though it's a little more expensive at $1,099.99. Uh, definitely a higher price tag on this set. This uh, this set I noticed, uh, it's not really my thing. I see it's the Spirit of 76, but uh, not totally my thing, but it has the uh, SW1200 uh, and then some coal cars and a caboose. Uh, here we have the Grand Canyon uh, uh, Railway Steam Passenger Set. It uh, has a consolidation in it, which uh, also has marker lights, which I believe is a little different from some of the other co uh, consolidations Lionel has made. And then some Grand Canyon passenger cars, a four-pack uh, with the set, and then a, they also have a two-pack add-on. And then here are some more of the wood-sided passenger cars. They have some Boston and Maine ones, and then some Pensy ones. 
uh, this is the rolling stock. Uh, none of it really appeals to me, and uh, I'm trying to just get through the catalog as quick as possible. I don't want to waste your time, but uh, these are the high cube box cars. Uh, more high cube box cars, and then here are hobo sound sound box cars uh, with some little hobo people sitting inside. Uh, I've noticed people are really liking these, so they'll probably be a, a popular item on the uh, pre-order list. We have some two bay hopper hopper cars and some cylindrical uh, covered hoppers. Uh, these all look really good. And uh, if if I was going to get anything from here, I'd probably get uh, this two pack of uh, New York Central coal cars. We have some flat cars with fire trucks on them. These uh, might possibly be MTH toolings, or maybe the fire truck itself is an MTH fire truck because it kind of looks like an MTH fire truck. And then we also have the cupola uh, caboose, uh, cupola cam cabooses, in a bunch of different paint schemes, uh, which is really cool to see. It's kind of funny they have a North Pole Central one here. We also have CA1 cabooses. Uh, looks to be all in UP except for, oh no. We have mainly UP and then uh, Southern Pacific and a uh, Great Western. And then we also have some standard O box cars here. And then a bunch of standard O rotary uh, Gondola two packs. And that's about it for the, uh, the scale section of the catalog. We move on and I'll just quickly go through the Lion Chief section. We have Hudson's, uh, the Junior Hudson's, uh, then a traditional line all lines with uh, 773. That's kind of funny. They're kind of uh, doing a tribute model to the 773 Hudson. And then these uh, Genesis, uh, Amtrak Genesis locomotives. These are uh, MTH Rail King toolings that Lionel has purchased, and they are now in the LC 2.0 line, which is really cool to see. And same with the uh, Hudson's. They are LC 2.0. And... That's about it for the catalog with me. There's a bunch of different items, and while I'm talking, I'll just scroll through here. But for the most part, that's everything. Uh, to remind you, I ordered the 90s Strasburg set with uh, four coaches, uh, four wood-sided coaches, a uh, observation car, and the 90s uh, a Decapod number 90. And that's what I've pre-ordered. I might change my pre-order a little as time goes on, depending on how things work out. But for the most part, uh, that's what uh, what I've pre-ordered, and that's my uh, kind of take on the catalog. I uh, really uh, enjoyed this catalog. Lionel put a lot of time and effort effort into it. I can tell, and I'm really looking forward to those uh, Strasburg uh, number 90s c uh, coming out in a year or so. Uh, but for now, that's all I got. As always, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Comment below and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.